Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nick with Nick's Reps. Back with another um, A Week in the Life of a Reptile Keeper slash Breeder. And I'm out here in the wilderness, minus the cars. I'm going to be doing another herping video. So just a little FYI into what kind of California herps we've got around here. We've got king snakes, we've got rattlesnakes, we've got garter snakes, we've got... Uh, gopher snakes, we've got blue bellies, um, side blotch lizards. People have found uh, rubber boas around here, I want to say, uh, sharp tailed rubber boas. I'm hoping to find some type of snake. I know for a fact if I find a king snake, I'll definitely find other snakes. So, see you guys whenever I find something. Peace out. Another thing, um, I am going to pick up some more uh, hissing cockroaches. So, stay tuned for that. And see you guys uh, whenever I find something. I have already found a centipede and some blue bellies, both of which I was not able to catch. So, see you guys whenever I am able to catch something. So, I got caught by this insect a second ago, but it flew away. But I was able to find a baby version of it, the larva stage of a ladybug. Possibly one of the most uh, valuable insects inside of the uh, planting community. Here's an adult ladybug. This is an ornate ladybug, or as I used to call them, the Asian ladybug. They're quite different from the uh, normal ladybugs that we see around here, the slender ones, the American ladybug. Um, not much different, so they're, they just look different. And then these ones are attacked more because they look different. I saw this post on Facebook saying it was um, a dog's mouth covered in these. Saying, oh, these ladybugs are bad for your dog. But they didn't call them ladybugs, they called them beetles. So, which isn't wrong. All right, I'm going to let these guys go. And hopefully one day in the future I can start uh, uh, breeding these guys again. The camera guy right now and I used to catch these catch uh, ladybugs in the fourth grade and that was fun and he got in trouble because they got out in class <laughs> yeah I did all right. all right so in California we've been having this problem for a couple of years especially when we were in that drought with these special kinds of beetles I think I've been finding these beetles this whole trip and I want to know something is this a bark beetle I don't know what it is if it is they're a super destructive animal. I'm still not going to hurt it or kill it or anything. I'm going to release it. Um, but I want to know. Do you guys think that's a bark beetle? It's got this really cool coloring and all that. If it's something I can get in the trade, I'm probably going to get it. Um, from buying it, of course. Instead of taking them from the natural or the nature. Unless if they, if these are the uh, bark beetles, then I'll take them. Because they're a new invasive species and they're completely destructive so I'm gonna let them go back home all right see you guys whenever I find something else all right guys so I don't know if you can hear it in the background but there's a waterfall coming up you know what a waterfall means that means there's water you know what water means well water is a circle of life right is everything has has to have water so sorry guys my my cameraman had an ant on him I had to save his life um, but where there's water there is life squirrels birds coyotes um, snakes lizards frogs tadpoles fish everything is gonna be at that waterfall so I'll see you guys right when I get there all right guys so there's a couple things, one of them went away. Oh, right there we've got a really nice spider. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know what species of spider that is, but it's got a big web and I love spiders with big webs. The other one, the other thing, is finally some sort of herp, but it's not one of my favorites. I, whenever I want to go herping, I want to find snakes or 
any type of reptile. This is an amphibian, a little California slash Bahama oh. tree frog. <laughs> well, there he goes. I hope you guys enjoyed that. They're an invasive species. I've happened before. Uh, I caught them from the wild. And yeah. I made a mistake with one of these. Story time. I caught a few of them from a canal near my house. I put them with all my all my animals. Everything died. Everything died within like two or three days. Just everything except for my golden geckos. So there is a little reason for any new uh, new guys into this whole hobby or gals. Do not catch an, a wild caught animal and put it with, with a bunch of captive bred animals. That is a recipe for disaster. And if you're gonna do it, at least um, quarantine them so that everything that they may carry, especially in amphibians, anything that they may carry dies off and they'll be safe to go with your uh, normal, with your captive bred animals. So with that being said, I'll see you guys when we're at the actual waterfall, which is right there. It's more of a weir than a waterfall, but still water, still crashing. So, all right, go. All right, guys, so we're about to leave. One second. Still recording all right guys we're about to leave and I cannot leave without one reptilian herb but I had to make it a little bit better two reptilian herbs both of them are blue bellies they're both I'd say this one is roughly two months old it's super young this one is even younger it's maybe about one month old Look at that, look how tiny that one is. But look how much bigger this one is. And he's crawling on me, so I'm gonna let this one go. Or am I not? You want me to get him off? Put your back to the wall. Hold on. He may have made his way down. Turn around. Wanna see? Spread your legs. No, <laughs> it's right there. Where? Right here. <laughs> hey, sir, at least buy me dinner first. <laughs> it's on your back. You're, you gotta use your other hand for that one. Oh, it's all the way on top of your back. On your neck. On your shoulder now. Turn around. Hey, little guy. Want me to take him off? He's on the other side. All right. But now that we're back with from that, um, yeah, two lizards, two blue bellies. I caught the smaller one with one hand. And I came here expecting I was gonna catch some snakes, some reptiles, some lizards, some frogs, all this and that. I only found one frog until right now. I found two lizards. There's another creature. I'm thinking it may have been a gopher, to be honest. It was round and fat, and it went down a hole. Um, but yeah, let me just give it this thing another glance real quick. No other lizards. But I'm not going to lie. Lately, I've been doubting my herping skills, my lizard catching skills, because I used to be able to see a lizard and catch it like that. But to be honest, I... I'm not really that much interested in catching bluebellies anymore. I caught these ones for content. A little bit extra content. Let me tell you something you've most likely been wrong about your whole life. What? Nothing. Okay. So, you see the blue on this blue belly? What do you think it is? You would, you would suggest that something with that much blue would be a male. 
I used to think the same exact thing too. If you guys remember, I may have said it before, I used to breed blue bellies. I had this one, I had these this pair of blue bellies. One of them had a light stomach, the other one had a dark stomach. The dark stomach got fat, the uh, light stomach was also fat. I thought the one with the dark stomach or with the light stomach was gonna give me eggs. Not in the least. It was the one with the darker stomach. That's when I figured out the ones with the darker stomachs are actually the females. The males have the lighter, more pretty uh, stomachs. And that's something I feel like a lot of people should know. Because that's something that I've been wrong about and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are wrong about as well. But all right guys, with that being said, that's gonna be the end of this video right here, the herping trip. Um, unless if I find anything else on the way back to the car. But stay tuned because I am gonna be getting a couple more uh, hissing cockroaches so see you guys when that happens peace out so, with every wild animal that you ever catch especially reptiles what you want to do is you want to put them back i found this one right here go back to your sibling and this one over here the female found right here That's it. See you guys later. They go back to their wild. See you guys in the next clip. I went into this uh, reptile shop. I wanted to get Madagascan hissing cockroaches. And I should have been a little bit more specific when I said I would like four roaches. Because I got dubias. Which I'm not complaining about. They're just... Um, not what I was expecting, but the gravid. So I'm gonna have some baby dubias, a little dubia colony going on, which I have been wanting. And they were super cheap. I got them for two fifty each. They're normally five dollars, so I paid ten dollars for them instead of twenty. Not complaining at all. So let you guys know how that goes. See you later.